So as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot to get a uh, fairly usable system. Uh, just a taskbar down here at the bottom that you'd be familiar with. Uh, programs, the ability to right click out here on the desktop and we can start programs just simply by just a couple of mouse clicks away. And you know it may not look pretty, but it's extremely fast. If you have a if you have a low end system, um, you know with minimal amount of RAM and CPU, this this type of window manager will absolutely fly on that kind of system. And even if you have a modern computer, you know there's no there's no rule that says you have to tie up every ounce of system resources you have with so-called eye candy. You know I, I think that stuff's pretty overrated, if you ask me. Okay, well hopefully that uh, gives you enough information to understand what exactly the X window system is doing and what the window manager is doing. The X window system is just basically the core engine of the uh, of the graphic environment. It controls the the movement of the mouse across the screen and it handles the you know a certain amount of key keyboard input it doesn't dictate like you know alt tab and you know control all you know f4 alt f4 all of those types of keyboard bindings are handled either by the window manager or by yet some other program that handles keyboard bindings but the uh, window manager controls the decorations you know what the border looks like it controls this resizing of the window controls like maximize and restore controls shading and unshading and the just the ability to move windows around the screen that's all controlled by the window manager exit out of this this close this and one thing I do want to show you about ice WM is that you do actually have the ability to log out you know normally you don't have to hit control all backspace you just right click out on the desktop and go to log out and that takes you out of the X window system okay I made a small change to the XNet RC file and I just want to start the X window system back up and show you another window manager this window manager is called JWM I don't know exactly what that stands for I think it's something like Jim's window manager and the thing I want to show mainly uh, about this particular window manager <clears throat> is that it has a taskbar down at the bottom and the main point that I want to make here is that this taskbar down here at the bottom is integrated into this window manager the evil WM window manager if you recall we started the FS panel which was a separate program and that separate program gave us the taskbar in JWM however the whole binary executable is one piece of programming the just like in ice wm when you right click out on the window out on the root window you get a contextual menu well you also get a contextual menu in jwm and that is not a separate program that's running but those contextual menus are just part of the window manager and in jwm the taskbar is part of the window manager as well has a little familiar start light uh, start menu like button down here mine's called menu but it gives you the same list of programs that you would get if you just right clicked out on the desktop uh, but it does gives you give you the you know list of the programs that you have running so if you have leafpad open among other programs of course it would help if you spell the program right then it'll divide the taskbar down at the bottom and uh, you get a whole list of programs very familiar you know to like the way all Windows systems have worked in the last couple of years or well even longer than that about 10 years so that's the main thing I wanted to point out about JWM just the fact that it has this taskbar built in uh, as far as the, pr the window manager itself goes it's very familiar to ice WM <clears throat> you've got the title bar that you can click in and drag windows around and again the opaque movement is optional I just ha I just shut it off because like I said I don't care for it um, you've got the maximize restore button the button here to minimize there's no shade button built into the built into the title bar on this one however that's probably an option uh, if you some particular yeah if you right click on the title bar and go to shade unshade it's there you know each window manager has its own way of doing things um, let's take a look at one more window manager 
Let me exit out of all these programs, modify the exit RC, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have the XNet RC file modified. I'm going to go back into the X window system. By default, this window manager, like a couple of the other ones, is very pretty basic when you first start it up. But again, the contextual menu is available if you right click. Um, we'll bring up uh, just an editor like LeafPad. The one thing I mainly wanted to point about this window manager is the title bar is actually along the side. It's vertical along the side, whereas with most window managers, it's across the top. Uh, but again, just to point out the the flavors that are available, you know, window managers can do all kinds of things. And the other thing about the this window manager, if you click on the the so-called maximize button, instead of maximizing across the whole screen, it maximizes vertically or horizontally. There are two different buttons for that. So if you only want to maximize horizontally, you can do that. If you only want to maximize vertically, you can do that. So there's a lot of options available in window managers and. Uh, Hopefully this whole little set here has been informative, and that's it.